for those who haven't seen the movie, can you tell us a little bit about the film and your character in it? I think I could. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a wonderful movie. It's kind of like a modern day fairy tale, but it's set in a very unusual place at the ends of the earth. It's almost apocalyptic. Uh, we're in a little town we call the bathtub, and it's a bunch of renegades and rebels and just, you know, not your ordinary typical folk. And we're cut off from the rest of the world by a levy system, which uh, kind of puts us at odds with the rest of the world. The ice club caps are melting, it's flooding and everything, it's flooding our, our little town. Um, we take measures to stop that from happening, but at the same time there are prehistoric creatures that are melting out of the ice age and coming down toward this little town. But the true story is in the little girl and her father. Uh, it's such a, a beautiful story. Um, and how he's trying to teach her how to survive in such a not-so-nice world. The connection that they share seems really genuine, and oh. it seemed like an organic situation between everyone and the crew. Like, yeah. Can you tell us what kind of moments you guys shared off-camera? Was it as simple to get along and to oh. kind of bond and stuff? There was no problem getting along. With the cast and crew, it's just, you know, it's like family. Uh, if we needed help doing something, we would work it out, and, but there was never any kind of negative feel towards any of it. Uh, it was very easy. Ben, Benjamin's the easiest guy to work with and just an outstanding director. <laughs> you really can just pull things you know, out of you that you're not really aware of until he pulls it out of you and it fits perfect for what he needs it for, you know? The movie is both beautiful for the eyes and beautiful in the story. Like, what do you think is the most important thing that you want people to take away from the movie? Uh, to believe in yourself and um, no matter what obstacles that you may have to overcome, uh, there's people there for you as well, but you have to believe in yourself. So there's strength in numbers, but you should always start with number one yourself, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah.